quite well, but for the people at home who don't know uh, what it's all about, can you please uh, give us just uh, an overview of what, what the foundation is all about? Yeah, no, I sure can. Um, so Justin Slade Youth Foundation started in 2005. Um, I'm sure that a lot of the viewers out there know, but it's after Justin Slade. So he was a 21 year old who got into a car accident on the highway. Um, after in 2004, that had happened. So in 2005, after donations were taken in for, to start a charity. So then they opened up the Justin Slade Youth Foundation. Um, I think for most people, they know us more for our drop-in center that's located in Borealis Park and that's known as the dugout. Um, so what we do is we are a registered nonprofit and we focus on youth ages 12 to 17 years old. We provide free programming, community engagement, organized programs, volunteerism, and a casual drop-in center. Everything that we do is free of charge because we want to break down those socioeconomic statuses. So anything that's offered within our drop-in center or if it's an organized program that's in other parts of the community, everything's free of charge so that everybody gets to take part. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's a pretty cool building, I got to say. It is, yeah. Yeah. I used to uh, work in that building, actually, as a summer programmer for right. the municipality. We used mm. to call it the Haxton Center. Yep. And then you guys have taken it over. You've been there for how many years now, would you say, roughly? Oh, God, I think, well, since I would say... God, we've had the dugout. I can't, I can't honestly remember yeah. when the dugout actually opened. Um, I think that it started pretty much in 2005, right? right? I know that we had office space in other places, right? And then we use that as the drop-in center yeah. because it was being used as a municipality building at the time too. Right. Um, and then eventually we had some offices that were inside that building. So we used to share it with the municipality, right? And then eventually there was other locations that opened up under the city. And then we took the ownership of the building over ourselves, right? Yeah. So we still lease it from the city and we're very thankful for that. They pretty much give us it free of charge every single year so that we can run this as a drop-in center. Right. Um, main goal for it, keep kids off the streets, right? Give them something to do that's productive, make them into responsible adults, give them some life skills, whatnot too, right? That's right. I just died at this. That's another Max City Morning Show done. about quenching your ugly thirst. Really?